show you guys what I think is a pretty clever proof that the harmonic series diverges. So this isn't the first time that I've proved the divergence of the harmonic series on the channel. And in fact, I'll provide a link so you guys can check out the previous video. So let's first recall what the harmonic series is. So it's the sum as n goes from one to infinity of one over n. In other words, the sum of the reciprocals of all natural numbers. So we've got one over one plus one over two plus one over three plus one over four plus one over five and so on and so forth. So a lot of times when students encounter this series for the first time, they're really surprised that it diverges because it seems like it should converge because those terms really trend off to zero fairly quickly. And in fact, this does diverge very, very slowly, but it does diverge. Okay, so like I said, we've got what I think is a clever proof that's going to use the following lemma. So that says for all natural numbers n, this sum of 1 over n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2 all the way up to 1 over n squared is always bigger than or equal to 1. So let's see if we can prove this fact first or this lemma and then we'll jump into the proof of this harmonic series. So let's notice that we've got 1 over n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2 plus dot 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 plus 1 over n squared minus 1 plus 1 over n squared. So I've taken that and expanded it a little bit just so that we can really see what's going on. Now one of the very important things to notice here is how many terms we have in this tail right here. And so the number of numbers between n plus 1 and n squared is exactly n squared minus n. So this is how many terms we have after the 1 over n term. So what we're going to do is take all of those terms and replace them with the smallest. The smallest in this case is 1 over n squared. That means that we will start with something that is greater than or equal to this. And equality only holds when n is equal to 1. So this is bigger than or equal to 1 over n plus now I'll put this in parentheses, 1 over n squared plus 1 over n squared plus 1 over n squared. Essentially what I've done is I've taken all of these guys and replaced them with 1 over n squared. Now how many of them are there? Where, well, there are exactly n squared minus n total terms. But if you're adding something to itself, n squared minus n times, well that's the definition of multiplication. So we have this is equal to 1 over n plus n squared minus n times 1 over n squared, like that. Okay, well where can we go from here? This is going to be 1 over n plus n squared over n squared. That's 1 minus n over n squared, but that's going to be minus 1 over n. Now we see that this first term cancels with this last term and we get that this is equal to 1. And then reading from the extreme left to right hand side of this inequality, we see that we have just proven this lemma. Okay, so now let's get rid of this proof, then we'll sketch the idea of this method for showing the harmonic series diverges. So we just got done proving this lemma, now we're going to sketch the idea of this new proof to show that the harmonic series diverges, and then we'll prove it carefully. So here's the idea. We're going to take the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n, in other words the harmonic series, and we're going to write this as 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth, keeping in mind that 4 is 2 squared, and then we're going to have plus 1 fifth all the way up to 1 over 25, keeping in mind that 25 is 5 squared, and then next we'll have plus 1 over 26 plus all the way up to 1 over 26 squared. I won't multiply that out, and then so on and so forth. So notice the next term will be 1 over 26 squared plus 1, and that's going to end at 1 over 26 squared plus 1 quantity squared. So as you see, it gets kind of gnarly as we move forward, but the important thing to notice is that all of these guys right here are bigger than or equal to 1. So everything that I am overlining in blue. But that means that this series, our harmonic series, is bigger than or equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Then we've got this 
infinite series just of ones. But now this thing right here clearly diverges. So that's the sketch of the idea of this proof. Now we'll get rid of this and then do something that's a little bit more careful. So we just got done sketching the idea of the proof of this divergence using our lemma. Now we're ready to look at the proof a little bit more carefully. And that's gonna involve a recursively defined sequence. So let's define the following sequence. So I'll say a n as n goes from one to infinity. So that's like a one, a two, a three, and then so on and so forth. We're gonna define it like this. So a one will be equal to one, and then a n plus one will be equal to a n squared plus one. But now notice that that means that a two is equal to two, a three, well, that's gonna be equal to two squared plus one, which is five. A four, that's five squared plus one, which is 26. And as you can see, we're replicating the beginning of each of those parentheses that we had on the last board. But that's really good news because now we can take this harmonic series and rewrite it as a double sum involving this sequence. So let's do that. We've got this sum as n goes from one to infinity of one over n. So now we can write that as the sum as n goes from one to infinity of the sum as k goes from a n to a n squared of one over k. So these guys right here, this inner sum is like all of those parentheses that we saw before. But now this infinite series well, that's really just the limit of the finite partial sums. So this is the limit as capital N approaches infinity of the sum as N goes from one to capital M of the sum as K goes from a N to a N squared of one over K. Now we can use our lemma to make an inequality where this stuff right here, which I will circle is bigger than or equal to one. So that's exactly our lemma where we're just replacing this lower spot by one over a n and this upper spot by one over a n squared. So that means that this is bigger than or equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum as n goes from one to n of just the number one but obviously the sum of one n times is equal to n. So this is the limit as n goes to infinity of n, but that's clearly equal to infinity. So that is a proof that we have a divergence of this harmonic series. And that's a good place to stop.